Hola, hola, hola. Hello, buenos dias, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, la planning diva. Thank you so much for spending some time with me here today. I really appreciate it. I'm here with my flagship big happy planner in my Disney seasonal cover and her thick and juicy gold expander discs. Ugh, I love my planner. I'm here to set up um, the coming week in my weekly. I need to set up my weekly spread. I'm really excited about um, what I have planned. Oh, and I totally forgot that I have these cover pages here. I set this up, this um, cover page in Canva. I'm playing around with creating my own custom cover pages, but of course, you know me, I had to go with a very hungry caterpillar cover page. I also designed this one. This one I don't like as much as the hungry caterpillar one, but I've just been experimenting with designs. Um, of course, this is my Happy Planner cover page, and I still need to set up this cover page here. I've been kind of just so busy, of course, the last couple of weeks. I haven't really gotten around to it, but I need to do this. This cover page is so adorable. I love all the daisies and Mickey and Minnie there. It's super, super cute. But this is my home life planner, um, my flagship planner, I call it, because this is kind of my most important planner i would say like it's the one that i take the most time in i spend the most time designing these spreads i i will you know work in this planner um exclusively if i'm very very busy and i just put my most like important things in here this is like my home slash social life planner um i don't put any work stuff in here i tend to just use my work planner um for work stuff but this planner is like exclusively my home life planner i have been so 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 busy for the last couple of weeks that i haven't really been filming a lot thank you to all of you who have been so kind in the comments telling me that you've missed my content and that you're glad to see me back that means so much to me and just thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to just leave such a kind of comment like it really means a lot to me it means the world to me and honestly um your kind of comments are what really motivates me to continue putting out content and to be consistent with my content. I really feel like for all of those of you who leave lots of consistent comments on my channel, I really feel like we're friends in some way. <laughs> I hope you feel the same way and it just like warms my heart to see like your name and your icon appear and it's like chatting with an old friend and I think it would be fun to get together and maybe do like a zoom call all together and to just chat. I think that'd be so much fun. But anyway, um, I need to do a weekly spread in February. I need to set up the 6th through the 12th. Um, this is the upcoming week here. And before I get into that, I thought it would be fun to just quickly flip through all of the planner spreads that I made in the month of January and the beginning of February. I haven't done flip throughs as much on my channel anymore. It's something that I used to do a lot more and I just kind of got away from it because a lot of the times, I guess a lot of my content is just like making the content as opposed to like flipping through it. But I really want to start sharing more after the pen spreads and just show you all how it turns out because I honestly think that after the pen looks so much cooler than before the pen. Anyways, this is my January monthly. I love how it turned out. I actually didn't like this as it was like being created. Like I think I was maybe like 75, 80% like done putting down all the stickers and I still didn't like it. And it wasn't until that very last like 20% of completion that I really started to like what I had created. So that just goes to show that you can like not like a spread up until the very last minute and then at the end it all gets tied together and you manage to pull it through. But I went with an icy snowman theme. Um, here in Southern California we don't get a lot of ice and snow so I just really wanted to live that fantasy in my January monthly. And for the January monthly, I use it to plan out events, like I'll mark out things that are happening, of course, but I'll also use it to memory keep and to scrapbook. And sometimes I'll like turn to this page at the end of the day and then write down the most important thing that happened or the most interesting thing that happened um, that day here on the monthly calendar, just because I like seeing the monthly all together and everything that has happened to me um, in a month's time. But yeah, I just really like how this spread turned out. 
this spread is one of my all-time favorites this was the last week of 2022 and of course the first day of 2023 and i went on a road trip to sedona and the grand canyon with my boyfriend and his dad and we had such a great time and of course i had to go with like a desert theme a southwestern desert road trip theme i have some stickers from sedona here and it just looks so cool this is probably one of my all-time favorite spreads um, this month and then this week was the week I actually got COVID. I tested positive on New Year's Day, <laughs> of course, and I was completely out of it for an entire week. So this spread is a little bit kind of um, empty. I mean, it looks full, but you know, compared to how I normally fill my spreads, this is a little bit empty. There are boxes here. I meant to write down some mantras. I never did. Um, that's just because I was in bed sick with COVID. It happens. And I used the farmhouse sticker book, the big one for this one, because not only am I trying to finish that sticker book this year, but also um, just being at home, like quarantining for this entire week, not leaving my bedroom for the most part. Um, it just kind of gave me like home vibes. Like I was just home, you know, cozy at home and the farmhouse book definitely gives me those like home vibes. And then this is the week that I designed my own stickers for the first time. I drew these lemon stickers. Um, I drew this one, this one, and another design that I don't have on here. But I drew them, scanned them, and then printed them on sticker paper. And I still need to get a Cricut so that I can actually like print out sticker pages with like the um, stickers cut out on them. But yeah, that's something that I need to do. But it's, it's cute. And I also used a new washi tape I got. This is like a coffee washi tape down here. I love how it turned out. Um, and then this week was my honey and lemon spread. I love this one so much. This one was inspired by the fact that honey lemon tea was what managed to like get me through COVID. And I just love how this turned out. Um, so yeah, I designed three lemon designs. I designed this one, this one, and then this one here. And then I uploaded them onto Canva online and then I kind of like resized them, um, kind of changed the orientation of some to give me different like designs, but basically I just had three designs. And of course I had a bunch of like bee and honey stickers in my collection and I just love how this spread came out. So, so cute. And then this week, let me pull this out actually. This is actually my Cafecito Designs spread. This was from their new like Pan Dulce collection, Pan Dulce Cafe collection. And I love how cozy this spread is. I love Cafecito Designs. I'm very happy with how the spread turned out. I used some nice scrapbook paper. And um, this page actually, I still need to finish this, but this was just a little like scrapbooking page. Me, my boyfriend, and my good friend Ethan hiked up to Cuyamaca Peak in San Diego. This is the second highest peak in San Diego County. It was fantastic. It was amazing. We got amazing Indian food after. This is me and Ethan just like being silly in the car. Um, and I just need to journal a little bit about that. It was such a fun trip. I'm so happy we went. But we went on Sunday, I think, or Saturday. We went on Saturday. So I just tucked this into here. And that was that week. And then this is actually my colorful dog spread. I actually really, really liked how this one turned out. Colorful dogs sticker book is one that I hadn't pulled for in a while. So I'm very, very happy that I just got like a good amount of use out of that one for this spread very fun and i also designed this walk the pugs sticker right here and so i kind of wanted to like celebrate that so i went with the colorful dogs theme i took my pugs to the dog park this week so we were very much feeling the colorful dogs energy i really love the sticker right here it's um a, a pie sticker I, pick I picked up a julian pie from um, a town that's really famous for its pies um outside of san diego so like i had to have that sticker in there and then this is just my little um, January habit tracker. Um, okay, and then back here, this is my Valentine's Day card for February, for the February overview. I love how it turned out. I just wanted to make this like the most cheesy Valentine's Day spread ever, and it's perfect. My boyfriend took this picture of me and my Valentine's, my babies 
bugs and daisy i love them so much and i'm going to use this page to journal about everything that i'm happy about and grateful for in life i love how this one turned out and then february dividers so so cute mickey and minnie skating looking so cute and then on and then for the monthly i love how this monthly turned out i filmed um how i set this one up on my last video it's so cute it's so puffy a lot of these stickers are like 3d and puffy so this these two pages are really really thick but i don't mind it and then this is actually um the current week so this is the first week in february last week in january i went with sophisticated florals and i just felt the need to do like a very neutral soft spread like a palette cleanser almost i really like how it turned out it's so soft and gentle and it's kind of a nice like respite from all of the like really bright colorful spreads that i tend to do but yeah that's all the spreads that i've done um since the beginning of the year and today we are going to be pulling for these two pages right here the 6th through the 12th and i am going to be using a sticker book that's in my stash this is an older sticker book it's the horizontal layout i've actually already finished an entire horizontal layout sticker book um i think like two years ago i like finished the entire book and i found this on clearance like shortly after i finished it and so i picked it up for five bucks and i've used it here and there but i still have like most of the sticker book left this is one of the 10 sticker books i'm challenging myself to finish completely in 2023 so i'm trying to use um one of those sticker books that i'm trying to finish every other week so um and actually this week i'm using it twice in a row so i'm trying to use like a sticker book i'm trying to finish one week and then kind of leave myself um the freedom to choose any other sticker book or any other design for the next week and then go back to using a sticker book i'm trying to finish but last week i used sophisticated florals which is another sticker book that i'm trying to finish so in this case we're doing two um two spreads back to back from sticker books i'm trying to finish this year which i'm totally fine with that um this sticker book is so so cute i really really like it obviously i finished it an entire one like um already and what i like about the sticker book is that there's like two very distinct styles in here um there's this style which is like the bright um rainbow stickers we're not going to be using those today i'm going to be focusing more on these like watercolor whimsical designs i love this page in particular right here so we're going to be using those and let's just get into it and then in terms of what else i'm going to be using for the spread i'm trying to pull scrapbook paper and stamps for every single spread because i have way too much scrapbook paper and stamps not to be using them every single spread so i pulled for this blue green cactus print um scrapbook paper i think it's nice and whimsical and i also brought in this pink rainbow scrapbook paper i think this one's going to be adorable and i have some cute stamps here that we're going to be pulling for okay i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to speed it up and do a voiceover for this video sometimes i'm in the mood to chat and sometimes i'm in the mood just to be in the zone and today i kind of feel like i just want to zone out so I think we'll do a little voiceover. So I'll just speed things up and walk you through what I end up doing. So let's do it. Let's go. So the first thing that I started off with was setting up my sidebars like I always do. I used some Tombow adhesive to lay down that pink scrapbook paper and my Fisker paper trimmer to trim it down to size. At first I thought I was going to do like the tear away paper edges that I always do but after a moment's thought I just decided to do two sidebars and I just like the contrast of the pink and the blue on each side. I thought that was fun and then I just went into the horizontal layout sticker book and pulled for some of those longer strip stickers i really like the shape of these stickers i feel like the happy planner doesn't really do horizontal layout sticker books anymore and i think they really should do some more 
and then I just added some checklists and some stickers um, to write some to-dos and some of those longer strip stickers then I just used a bunch of square stickers for the sidebar there because that sidebar does stand for Sunday and so I did have a couple of plans on Sunday so I just laid those down there on the side and of course I had to pull for my favorite rainbow washi tape from Simply Gilded and I laid down some more washi strip stickers and just some cute decorative stickers around the page. At this point um, of the spread I was really starting to fill up the pages so I didn't really have that much room left so at this point I'm just adding some deco stickers. I added those circle wreath stickers um, there on the pages and then I also added some of those nice like floral line art um, stickers there up at the top and at this point i had so many stickers on the page i just didn't really have that much room to put some stamps down so i only put down one stamp that cute little stamp up there in the corner um with the with the mouse and her dustpan i thought that was so cute so i just used that little stamp there and then i ended up adding some cute um, cupcake stickers and just some other deco stickers and at this point I decided that I should write down some to-dos as well as some things that I have going on this week so I just pulled for my pilot pen I love these pens they write so smoothly and they're so pigmented I just wrote down some to-dos and I was really feeling like using some colored ink not just like my regular black ink so I pulled for that magenta um, pen I wrote down some things that were happening on Monday my mom's coming back from Mexico so I wrote down that and then I just wrote down some to-dos for Monday specifically and then I wrote down some things I had going on for Thursday as well and then I definitely had to think about what else I had going on this week and the last thing that I did was write down some weekend plans that I have for Saturday and Sunday hanging out with Rachel on Saturday for a little coffee and planner day and then hanging out with my friend Armand um, for lunch for a nice lunch day on Sunday and that was all okay i wrote down some to do's and some things that are happening this week not much going on this week so not much to write down and i just want to do one last thing here um i want to use more stamps so i'm going to use some of these smaller stamps that i have i didn't have a room to use some of these larger stamps but i really want to use um, more stamps so i'm going to use um this cute little um cone ice cream cone and cupcake stamp and this gold pad here uh, just to sprinkle some cute little designs along the page here okay now i am done now i am satisfied so let me put these pages back on the desks i think it turned out so so cute so let me add these in here i love it it's like kind of valentine'sy without it being too valentine'sy i don't know it's also very spring to me yes i am in love with this spread i'm very happy with how it turned out well there's another one for the books well, that's a wrap, everyone. Another plan with me successfully accomplished. Thank you so much for spending so much time with me here today um, planning with me. I hope you also had your planner out and were planning your week alongside me. And with that, I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe, stay blessed, and happy planning. Bye!